Golden Corral 500 on Fox, presented by Gillette Mach 3 Turbo, is brought to you by Budweiser. It's time for a fresh one. Grab a Budweiser. The race is on. laps just past 100 miles and Tony Stewart's lead over Jeff Gordon has climbed to three and a half seconds. He's gained about two seconds or put about two more seconds on Jeff Gordon in the 24 in about four or five laps. Well there's no question if your car will hook the bottom like his is that's the shortest way around you're going to make up a lot of time but he seems to be the only one that can consistently hang the left wheels on that white line. Casey Kane remains one second behind Gordon. Greg Biffle another two seconds back with Ryan Newman. Casey Mears, 11 seconds off the lead. Then Kurt Busch, Jimmy Johnson, Rusty Wallace, Jeremy Mayfield, the top 10. Ward Burton has been fighting the flu all week. And now, he may be fighting a left front tire run. It's a little it's a little bit bumpy you can see those dark spots in the racetrack those are little bumps in the racetrack little dips in the racetrack when that car goes through there with has such a soft left front spring and you got so much rebound pulling down on the body of that car to hold the nose down it's sucking the tire up in the fender and as we see it's not rubbing now that was right after pit stop when they have the air pressures down and that's when it's more prone to, to rub is before the air pressures gain it's, Robbie, it's, I'm sorry, Mike. it's annoying. I mean, it rubs and it kind of wants to jerk the wheel out of your hand, but you hang on to her and it'll come up. It'll come around. At least that's what Hammond always said. Just hang on to it. It'll come around. Stewart, the leader, Jeff Gordon, Casey Kane, Greg Biffle, and Ryan Newman, who started this race from the pole, his 20th career but pole, is fifth. Matt? Newman's car was good early on, but then he developed a loose condition and then it went loose and tight. So his team, led by Matt Borland, they made an air pressure adjustment on the left side tires to help the tightness in the center of the corner, and they made a wedge adjustment on their stop back on lap 57 to help the loose on exit. Three times he's won from the pole. Today, they need a little more work to go for number four. You know, guys, we talked in the opening about hit and miss and not having many opportunities to adjust on your race car, especially if it's way off. I mean, Tony Stewart in the 20, he just put Michael Waltrip in the 15 and Jeff Green in the 43 a lap down. That was the 19th and 20th place cars. He's already in less than 75 laps put half this field a lap down. No opportunities to catch up or make your cars better. We've been caution free the first 73 laps. Now, Dick Berger and Jeff Gordon continues to lose ground to the race leader, Tony Stewart, but he has a firm hold on second for the moment. Yeah, he does indeed, Mike, but he has twice called on the radio and said that his race car is loose, and I did look at the four tires that came off his car after the pit stop, and the right rear on that car was almost down to the courts. There were a couple of places around the tire where I could just see if he didn't have much more, he could have run on that right rear tire. Thanks, Dick. Jeff Gordon's about to get busy because... Casey Kane is coming. Can you believe, Daryl, what this young fella has done in a Winston, or rather a Nextel Cup career and Winston Cup last year career that includes only a handful of career starts? No, and this could be a really big day for him. He could run second to somebody besides Matt Kenseth. <laughs> I still think he needs to meet Harry Gant <laughs> yeah. if he's tired of second place. Nothing wrong with second right now. Just keep doing it. But what Ray Evernham has been telling people, this kid reminds him of another kid that he hooked up with about 12 years ago. And, in fact, that kid right now is running second, Jeff Gordon, in the 24 car. Don't forget Dave Blaney back there in 14th position for Bill Davis in an unsponsored Dodge battling Mark Martin for 14th. Our apologies to Mark after a fine finish last week. We had hoped to interview all the top five, but had to leave the air before we were able to get to him. So sorry, Mark. Great run, and looks like he's picking up right where he left off last week in Las Vegas. You know, we keep talking about this aero package that we have this year, the smaller rear blade, and what's it going to do to the cars. I just saw Tony Stewart get up under Joe Nemechek. I think Joe would probably wish he had that three-quarters of an inch back on that rear spoiler because uh, Tony got right up under the back of him, and... Uh, 
Watch this. He goes down into turn three, puts the nose right up under the back of Joe. Now watch back. Look at Joe's car. Just the back end comes around. Up the hill he goes. And all you're doing is hanging on for dear life. And he's saying, call Tony and tell him I'll get out of the way next time. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> Casey Kane trying so hard to catch Jeff Gordon, and I believe he brushed the wall last time out of turn four. Yeah, I mean, I know next week we're going to the racetrack that will reach out and grab you, but I think what happens, you, you think you're in a rhythm here, Daryl, and you, your car's feeling good, and all of a sudden it just kind of jumps sideways on you on the exit of the corner. You talked about your hot spot in turn two. It can actually happen in turn four, too. Yeah, turn four, you got a lot of speed to turns three and four because the, you, you're running out into the... the turn opens up for you and you really come off a turn high or low whichever way and you just run out there and run out of racetrack let's see if Casey Kane did get a piece of the concrete here ah that's perfect that was yeah. that was perfect he just <laughs> he just narrowed that thing up a little bit it'll be faster yet he just put the Darlington stripe on it a week early Jeff Gordon and Casey Kane, second and third to Tony Stewart, who is five seconds ahead of them. Greg Biffle, two and a half seconds back of this duo, then Ryan Newman and Casey Mears. 79 laps complete in the Golden Corral 500.